four years ago, I was convinced, convinced I wasn't ready. Like I know the political opportunity four years ago was much cleaner. I mean, I'm a politician, I know politics. I saw the opportunity, but I just couldn't do it. So now it's a less clean, more crowded, more difficult opportunity, all right. Well, live with it, man. That's the way it goes, you know, that's the way it goes. So I, I'm, I'm gonna make the best of this opportunity and I think if I do, um, and I have the talent and skill to be President of the United States, then I'll get there. Service. We're, yeah. we're full service here, me and Mary Pat. We do it all. Come say hi to us when you're done. Of course. Is it helpful to be a Mets fan and not a Yankees fan when you're campaigning in New Hampshire? Oh, very helpful. Yeah, yeah. very helpful. There was a guy with a Red Sox jacket on who said, introduced me as being everybody, we should listen to him because he's not a Yankees fan. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, def <laughs> it's definitely helpful. But you like doing the town halls. That's where we're going to be doing a yeah, couple I'm of doing those today. three today, I think. Yeah. I love when people say, you know, you're in my top three. Right. I'm like, all right. If I'm in your top three, I, you know, and I'll tease them a lot. I'll say, you know, if, you're, if I'm in your top three, I'm getting you. You know, the only yeah. ones I'm not getting are the ones where I'm not in the top three. Right. I'm in the top three. By the time we get to December, January, I'm getting you. Yeah. Um, and I always felt that way, that if I, people are willing to give me a listen, that I usually get them. But it's, it's a matter of breaking down that first barrier. You ask me whatever you like, I'll give you an answer. You may not love the answer, but it's going to be the same answer here this morning at Mojo's as it was last night at the VFW Hall in Raymond, as it will be later tonight at my next town, doing three town halls today, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think that's my staff making sure I don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but the answers will be the same. One of the problems that I see is the fact that Congress doesn't listen to us. They seem to, once they get elected, they're off doing their own thing. They don't listen. And even though you're a president, and I assume you will be, what can you do to correct this? I say to people all the time in New Jersey, I have drinks and dinner with people that I cannot stand. <laughs> it's part of the job. And my job is to make sure they don't know I can't stand them. <laughs> right? But you ask for the big job. It's part of it. This president's abandoned that. That's why the city's so dysfunctional. And you got to get back to doing it. And that, along with hopefully term limits, would be the way I would do it. I've seen him a lot on TV, but it's different when you come in here. You know, I just wish he was not so low in the polls, you know, to get up there. You so know? you walked in not as a supporter, and he, he won you over. Right, I did. Do you think he, he can rise up in the polls eventually? I, I don't see why he can't, you know, as long as enough people get to come and see him and he, listen to him. Is there any party that actually likes being a bit of an underdog and likes the opportunity to get out there and prove people wrong and, you know? No, yeah. no. I mean, listen, if I had my choice, I'd be the runaway front runner, <laughs> you know? So no, it, there's nothing that, about that that's really attractive to me, but it is what it is. So I gotta go do it. We've had politicians in before over the last few years, and it was actually, a breath of fresh air to have somebody actually answer a question. I like somebody who's gonna give you a straight answer. You, you may not necessarily agree with what he's saying, but at least he's gonna give you an answer and tell you how he feels. Everyone knows you're a really confident guy. I'm wondering if there's ever been any times in your life where you've felt a lack of confidence. Oh, yeah, sure. And what they are. I mean, you know, we don't have enough time to answer that question. You know, most recently, certainly it was like right after the bridge stuff, you know, I, I clearly had, you know, a lack of confidence in, in you know, how did this happen? How did, you know, how did I misjudge certain folks and their motives? And, and so, yeah, I mean, if you don't have, like there's a difference between being confident and being stupid. You know, and if you believe you're right all the time, you're stupid. I mean, confident is when you really feel like you've thought things through, your instincts are good and you make good judgments. Um, but that doesn't mean you're perfect. I think the biggest problem in, in running for president is the schedule, yeah. is that, is that staff doesn't recognize that you're not a wind-up toy. You like doing these events at bars? Is there, are we gonna yeah, well, I do much better when people drink. Right. I mean, it's, it's much better for me. When people are taking in alcohol, I get funnier, and, you know, it's definitely good. So, yeah, we like, in fact, we have to show up a little bit late for the ones in those places, so they're drinking a little more by the time I get there. Yeah. You keep referring to 
entitlement programs. When I was growing up, entitlement was Social Security, Medicare. Now we lump welfare into entitlement. I don't understand why. I don't think I did. You, well, you use the blanket. Well, the blanket, what I, let me be clear about what I mean by entitlements. I mean Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security Disability Insurance. Those are the four things I mean by entitlements. And now Obamacare is involved in that as well. Okay. So I'm a welfare officer. That's right. Why. Well, I didn't, but I didn't say that. So. But that was the overall. I don't think so, because I didn't say welfare. So nobody I said ever says welfare. They say entitlement. Well, maybe someone else, but not me. Okay. If I mean welfare, I'll say welfare. I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be. And some days you're going to love it, and other days you're going to want to turn off the television. You're never going to have to wonder what I'm thinking, because you're going to hear it. You're never going to have to wonder how I'm feeling, because you're going to see it. I don't hide it very well. And you'll never have to wonder how hard I'm willing to fight for it. And so that's what you need to learn. Who are we? Because we can't anticipate every crisis. But you can know the character of the person sitting behind that desk, and then hope and pray that that character will carry us through whatever crisis that we're going to face in this country, and we know we will. It's been uh, refreshing listening to you. I Thank you. I really enjoyed it. And I appreciate it. I'm not going to ask you to sing karaoke. Although I could. Okay, so what's, half. what's your go-to? Let's see, the last time I sang karaoke, I got induced into doing I'd Do Anything for Love. Um, I, I did with two other guys, um, Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. And then you get the Springsteen stuff. You know, I think as people continue to get more and more focused on this race, and I think you heard tonight, there were a lot of really specific focused questions tonight, and a lot of the feedback we were getting was, I'm glad you were so specific. Thanks for answering my question directly. That's what's going to make the difference in this race, and I don't think a lot of those other candidates can do that credibly over and over and over again. I think that's going to make the difference in the end. Once I don't want it, it's for Sam. I can't Sam. I don't drink beer. I'll drink it. Well, then good. Here, give it to Sam. No, it's a problem. <laughs> It's a prop. <laughs> we don't do props, Sam. Thanks very much, Governor. I Thanks. really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate I'll see you, you up guys. There a lot. Yeah. Follow me around. I appreciate it. You it's made fun us work tonight. Hard, you know? Hey, man. You no harder than I'm working, baby. That's <laughs> all.